Welcome y'all, this is What If Naruto Had a Sans Dojutsu the Movie. This is covering part 1, 2, and 3. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if you guys want more, please hit the like and subscribe. Five likes, and I might do a part 4 to this whole series, and maybe even continue on the story. I hope you guys enjoy, and see y'all in the video. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Tyro What Ifs here. And today, I just want to talk about... A, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Error Sans uh, for commenting. Can you do a what if Naruto had Sans's powers? And uh, I can do that, but I'm going to switch it up a bit. And this is what if Naruto has Sans Dojutsu Part One. Now uh, I had to explain a little thing. I had to create. I had to create an entire Dojutsu, and I now have to now I have to tell you the name. It's going to be called the Jinko Tsugan. Now the Jinko Tsugan, or for translation, the bone eye. Yes, I'm very creative. Um, it has three. It has four main abilities. Uh, actually, it has three main abilities, but it has a side ability when you add them all together. Basically, it's going to be called... Uh, the first ability is called uh, Kotsubai Katana. Now, Kotsubai Katana, or bone blade or bone sword, basically allows Naruto to summon one of the teeth of one of the tooth or teeth of the ten tails and uh basically they'll it will be formed into a giant blade uh and uh pretty much anything that naruto cuts he can then manipulate it uh and basically naruto can make him levitate slam to the ground slam to the left slam to the right kind of what sans does in the game uh next it's cope it's kotsubai kari or bone manipulation or bone control Naruto could pretty much summon any uh, piece of any multiple bones of the ten tails. Uh, basically, it's just that simple. You know, he can use this defensively and offensively, make a bone wall, multiple, uh, maybe even like more of a landmine, stuff like that. Next, it's going to be called the Skull of the Ten Tails. Basically, Naruto can summon a smaller version of the Skull of the Ten Tails, and then will use, and then the Skull will use particle style to create a beam from its mouth, aka Gaster Blaster from the game. Uh, and if Naruto combines all of these together, he can actually summon the entire skeleton of the Ten Tails. Although this will be extremely hard for Naruto. I just wanted to explain the Jutsu Gun before we actually get into the What If, just in case you wanted to know what the abilities were. And now, the actual story. I hope you guys enjoy. Chapter 1 The Tale of the Uzumaki's Number 1 Son Naruto Uzumaki Naruto is born on the worst night of Konoha. The Nine Tails attacked the village while Minato is fighting Obito. Like in the original, the Nine Tails was still sealed inside Naruto, and from that day on, Naruto was an outcast. Five years later, Naruto is walking in cold snow his feet shivering. He would freeze and almost stumble. He would then accidentally bump into a random villager, who was drunk. The villager would grab Naruto and say, you damn fox, you're coming with me. As the villager would grab Naruto and drag him, Naruto would beg for forgiveness. But the villager would just um, ignore him and take Naruto to a huge ditch. At this height, you'll definitely die. The villager would say with joy in his tone. Naruto would ask what he did and why everybody hates him. The villager would reply, because you exist. He would then throw Naruto down the ditch. Naruto, would, fearing death, would place his hands in front of him, almost like it was supposed to help him, help him uh, survive the fall, but obviously it wouldn't. The Nar but Naruto, with adrenaline, would accidentally use a bunch of chakra and summon the entire skeleton of the Ten Tails. Naruto would then, uh, black out. The next day, he would wake up at the hospital. The nurse would greet Naruto, as Naruto would ask what happened. The nurse would reply, we found you unconscious outside. She would then ask him how he's feeling, but Naruto would just simply say, I'm okay. The memories would flood back. He remembers after summoning the giant the giant beast, he made himself go to the hospital and then it would disappear in smoke. That's where he passed out. After Naruto would leave the hospital, he went home. He would go to the bathroom to get a shower and then he would look in the mirror. He would notice, why are my eyes white? They were blue yesterday. 
As Naruto's eyes would be glowing white, he would hear a voice. Kotsubai Katana. Naruto would look around and ask who's there, as the voice would repeat itself. He would keep doing this as Naruto would ask, what is a Kutsubai Katana? As Naruto said this, Naruto's hands would be glowing with a giant blade. The hilt was made of bones, or at least a bone-like material, and, the giant, and there was a giant sword that looked like a shark tooth. He would ask why he has this and when did he get it, as then he heard banging on the door, but then all the villagers outside as they were trying to break into the house. Naruto would pretty much say to himself, not again, please not today, as the villagers would just say, hey, we're gonna break into this house and kill you, you damn fox. As then the voice would then say, Kutsubai Kari. Naruto would ask what's going on as he would place his hands on the ground and start crying. Please, not today again. As Naruto would yell to the villagers, he could only hear the screams of the villagers trying to break in. As he was also bawling his eyes out, thinking he was going to die, as the voice got louder and louder. Kutsubai Kari, say Kutsubai Kari. Naruto would, act, Naruto would do as the voice said, just to get him out of his head. When saying those two words, Naruto's house would be surrounded by a giant bone wall. Naruto would stop hearing the villagers. He would then ask what that voice was, as the voice also disappeared. He would put down the giant bone wall to reveal that all of the villagers were just in shock. For no reason to them, these bones just appeared. The villagers would back off Naruto from Naruto and just leave him be for that day. Naruto would go to the training field and for the next 7 years, Naruto would try and train these two abilities. He would also find a way to use them without actually needing to say anything, or just say in his mind. Naruto would go to the academy. Again, he failed the clone test. Naruto Uzumaki has failed, Uruka would state. Everybody in the room, except for Shikamaru, Hinata, and Sasuke would laugh. Naruto didn't look mad though, or sad. He, if anything, looked happy. He would then look at Iruka. If I fight you and win, would you pass me? As Ruka would laugh, wiping the tears out of his eyes, he would then state, You know, if you do beat me, I'll pass you. Naruto would then smile, great, as he would take a step back. Iruka would then count down from three. The second Iruka yells go, he would then he would then be covered with a giant small ribcage. Naruto would then chuckle, as Iruka was now stuck. He would ask what this is, Naruto would just reply, that's my Katsubai Karin, rib cage jutsu, rib, rib squeeze jutsu, sorry, rib squeeze jutsu. Iruka would try and get out, but the more he resisted, the tighter the rib cage would squeeze to his body. Iruka eventually gave up and declared Naruto the winner. Naruto would then be assigned to Team 7 with Sakura and Sasuke. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura would wait for the new teacher. Naruto getting bored would do the same prank like he did in the original. When, Sa when Kakashi finally walks through the door, the uh, erasure would hit him in the head, and he would exclaim, Well, my first impression, I hate you all. As Sakura would get mad and punch Naruto in the head. Great, now our new sensei hits us, thanks to you, Naruto. As Naruto would grab her by the arm, then he would activate his Jinko Tsugan and tell her to cut that shit out, Sakura. Naruto would give Sakura a death stare and then she would back off. Kakashi would think to himself, so he has a Jinko Tsugan. Good. Kakashi would tell everybody to meet him on the rooftop. As everybody finally got on the rooftop, Kakashi would ask everyone what they liked, disliked, and what their dreams are. Everyone but Naruto's was pretty much the same as the original, so I'm only going to focus on Naruto's. Naruto states, I like ramen and I hate being disrespected, and my dream is to create my own village and call it the Fune, Kake Fune Kakire. Asakura would laugh, but Sasuke would stay silent. 
Naruto would ask what's so funny and Sakura would then reply, the village hidden in the graveyard? Really? How edgy can you get? As Sakura would continue laugh, laughing, Kakashi would state, Huh, Naruto, you have a Jinko Tsugan, don't you? That name actually makes sense for the village. This Naruto would ask him how he, what is a Jinko Tsugan. As Kakashi would tell Naruto if he meets with the graveyard later, he'll tell him. Sasuke is no more intrigued than to Naruto. The Gan, he knows what Gan means, which is I. Therefore, if anything before that, it must mean it's probably a Dojutsu Kage Genkai like his. Kakashi would tell everybody that tomorrow they're gonna do this little test and that they need to tr they need to meet up at the training field at noon and not eat breakfast. After dismissing everyone, and a couple hours would go by. Naruto would meet Kakashi at the graveyard and Sasuke would actually be behind a tree listening in. Kakashi would then activate and show his own Jinko Tsugan. Kakashi would then explain, the Jinko Tsugan is a dojutsu that the Uzumaki clan have owned for generations. Naruto would ask why he only has one and if he's an Uzumaki himself. Kakashi would then reply, no I'm not an Uzumaki. And for the first question, it's a long story, so maybe later. Naruto gets a good night's sleep and heads straight for the training field in the morning. Kakashi, unlike in the original, isn't late this time and gets straight and gets things started. He explains the rules. This is the bell test, and basically you have to get these two bells from me. Also, attack and you're gonna kill me, or I'll just fail you automatically. Sakura would raise her hand. Wait, but there's three of us. Kakashi would state, Oh yeah, only two of you will get the pass. As Kakashi would then state, it would then um, yell start. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura would jump into the nearby forest. Naruto would whisper to himself, Kotsuba, sorry, Kotsubai, Katana. As he would then expose himself and run straight for Kakashi. He would cut Kakashi's arms and would try to throw him with telekinesis. He would realize it's not working, even ask why it isn't. Kakashi would explain. The Jukon Sugan users cannot use their abilities against each other. As Naruto would state that's kind of dumb, Kakashi would punch Naruto in the gut and knock him out. Sasuke would see their fight before him and would comment that Naruto is a loser. Kakashi would then appear behind them and states that Kakashi's bad at hiding. He would go for a punch at Sasuke, a, but before the punch actually lands, a rib cage will appear around Sasuke. Sasuke would turn aside to see Naruto, Adam, and all fours staring. Naruto would yell, What are you doing? He can't use his dojutsu on you. Let him have it. As Sasuke would think to himself, Why is this damn loser helping me? He would then activate his single Tomoe Shining Gun and release a barrage of fireball jutsus. Naruto and Sasuke would put their hatred against each other, or more like annoyance against each other, and work together against Kakashi. Naruto as a shield and Sasuke as a sword. Naruto would then make his ko sorry, Kotsubai Katana appear and cut Sasuke with it. Sasuke would ask why Naruto did that, as Naruto states that by cutting you he can boost his speed. Sasuke would smile and get hype. And Sasuke would basically speed blitz, speed blitz Kakashi. Kakashi would be forced to use Taijutsu only as he can't use his own Dojutsu on Sasuke, as it's with Naruto's chakra who has a uh, Jun. <laughs> sorry, I'm super sorry. Who has a Jun code to gun. Naruto and uh, Sasuke basically. Um, Sasuke is basically a fast sword and shield as Naruto to stay in the background. Sakura would begin to feel useless. She would then throw a kunai at, with a paper bomb attached to it to it at Kakashi. She would then yell, I'm not gonna let Naruto shine me, and the bomb would explode. Now Kakashi has three people attacking him. Because of this, because of Kakashi now being forced to use Taijutsu only, Naruto and Sasuke are basically fighting Kakashi. For a visual reference, just think about Naruto and Sasuke versus Momoshiki as pretty much like that. 
Only this time, Sakura is in the background throwing bombs at Kagashi. Naruto then sees that there's an opening where he can grab the bells and was super close. He can barely even touch it before the timer went off. Naruto would look down and turn off his Jun Kotsugan. He would then go up to Sasuke and Sakura and apologize. I'm sorry I was too weak and too slow. I couldn't even touch the bells. We failed because of me. As Kakashi would then and basically yell, no, Team 7 passed. Naruto would ask how that is and Kakashi states that the reason why they passed, maybe they didn't, maybe they didn't finish their mission, but they learned the first lesson on being great ninjas, and that is working together. Sasuke would stick out his fist forwards towards Naruto, and then he would state, and we couldn't have done it without you, loser. As Naruto would grab Sakura's arm and pretty much make her make a fist, and Team 7 would do a fist bump. As Team 7 would walk off to their own respective houses, um, Kakashi could only smile. Uh, he would look up and tell Minato he thinks he's found his students. After Naruto's long day, Shikamaru was actually waiting for him at his house, as Shikamaru states he already got done with his test and wanted, wanted to know if Naruto wanted to hang out. Naruto accepted and they both went off to play Soji, I think that's what it's called. The Uchiha, the Uzumaki, and the Normal. A week after the bell test and most of Team 7's missions were D-ranked. Eventually, Naruto is fed up with only D-ranked missions and will go up to Kakashi. Kakashi Sensei, I think we deserve a C-ranked mission at least. Naruto would plead. Kakashi would think about it and he would reply with, let's go ask Lord 3rd. Naruto and Sasuke were actually excited, but a voice from behind them would reply. Maybe we need more D rank missions. Naruto and Sasuke would look back at Sakura in shock. What do you mean, Sakura? Naruto asked. I mean, maybe we're not ready. Naruto would then reply to Sakura uh, with, even if we weren't ready, I'm an Uzumaki and Sasuke's an Uchiha. But Sakura would reply, and I'm a Haruno. I'm nothing compared to you, Sasuke, or Kakashi. Sakura would begin to tear up. As her hands were starting to shake, I'm just scared. I'm not special. I'm not from a special clan like you three. Kakashi would then walk up to Sakura, and then kneel down at eye level. Neither am I. Kakashi would reply. Sakura would wipe her tears, and Kakashi would reply with, "All my clan has to its name was hatred." Kakashi would then, Kakashi would then put a fist out towards Sakura. So let's make uh, each other stronger as normies. Kakashi would smile under the mask. And Sakura would fist bump. Kakashi would smile back. Alright then, let's go out to Lord Third. Sakura would shout in excitement. As Naruto, Sasuke, and Kakashi began to walk towards the Third Okage's office. Team Kakashi, how have you been? As Naruto would then slam on the third Okage's desk and shout out, I demand that my team gets a C-Rick mission. Kakashi would place Naruto's place a hand on Naruto's shoulder. What my student means to say is that he thinks Team 7 is ready for a C-Rick mission or higher. The, the, the third Okage would then nod and put his hands on his chin, thinking. Naruto's right, I believe that the only way for us to get stronger is by um, going on more challenging missions. Sasuke would add. There would be a knock on the door as Tazuna would walk in. So these are my bodyguards? The Turtle Kage's eyes, uh, the Turtle Kage would then close his eyes. Okay Team 7, there's your mission. You have to escort Tazuna to the land of waves. As Naruto would smile and jump in the air. Finally a real ninja mission. Tazuna would then reply with, let's just leave as soon as possible. Naruto would walk up to Tazuna and smell a bunch of beer. Are you drunk? As Tazuna would hiccup, no, I'm just a bit tipsy. Naruto would then nod and uh, place a seal on Tazuna's back. Tazuna would reply with, what the hell are you doing, kid? As the seal would then activate. 
a giant upper half of a skeleton would branch off to his, his lower back. The skeleton would have a giant scar and two giant arms. Naruto would then lower the seal so the skeleton would go back into Tazuna's body. What the hell was that thing? Tazuna would ask. Naruto would then reply. It was a seal I created. After I, um, sorry, it was a seal I created. It was basically as for protection, just in case someone happens to get past our guard. Think of it as an extra bodyguard, except only me and my team can actually get close to you. Because anyone else that does, it would instantly attack and or defend. I call it Kots sorry, Kotsubai Kari Shi Ridu. Sasuke would ask where he got the inspiration from, and when did he ever have time to make it. Naruto would then reply, Well, I remember back in the bell test. I created a giant ribcage to protect you. That was my inspiration. And with all those D-rank missions, I definitely had the time to make it. Although I did learn, learn how seals work. Kakashi would be surprised, and then would put his hands on Naruto's hair and pretty much rub it. Wow, Naruto. Congratulations, you made a new jutsu. As they began to head out. Team 7 would leave Konoha. And on their walk, Kakashi would actually spot a puddle of water. He would then think to himself, water? But it hasn't rained in weeks. But he wouldn't comment on it and just keep walking. A few minutes later, a white rabbit appeared. Hmm, that's odd. As the demon brothers would try and attack Tazuna. But there was no worry. As Naruto's Kobatsubai Kari Sharidu, she Ridu, sorry, <laughs> would protect and grab the demon brothers with both of his hands. Well, kid, this really is the stuff, Tazuna would reply oh, would, um, state towards Naruto. Naruto would just uh, smile and say thanks. As then Sasuke would ask, So, why did you try and attack Tazuna? Because he had, a, he had a death wish challenging Gato, one of the demon brothers would reply. Okay, who's Gato? Naruto would ask. Tazuna would answer. He's the reason why the land of waves is in poverty. I'm trying to build a bridge so that, that won't be the case anymore, but he keeps sending people after me. The giant skeleton hands would then throw the demon brothers far away into the woods, as Kakashi would then state, Alright, let's just keep moving. Around an hour later, when Team 7 would be still walking, when Kotsubai Karin Shi Ridu would catch a sword. What a strange jutsu. Team 7 would look where the, for where the voice actually came from. Zabuza, what are you doing here? Kakashi would ask. Wow, Kakashi of the Jin Kotsukan recognizes me. I'm honored. Sadly, I'm here to kill the bridge builder. I see you place the jutsu on him, Kakashi. As Kakashi would then reply, No, that's my student, Naruto Uzumaki's. Uzumaki? I don't see an Uzumaki around here. As Naruto would yell, Right here. Zabuza would then reply, But I thought Uzumaki's had blood red hair. No matter. As you then grab the sword and yank it from the skeleton's hands. As Naruto would be surprised. Wow, he's really strong if he can do that. If y'all hear a uh, country music in the background, sorry, that's my that's my uh, family. Anyway, Naruto and Kakashi would then activate their Jun Kutsugan. Sasuke would activate a single Tomoe Shuten Gun, and Sakura would get into a regular Taijutsu that stands. Zabuza would then jump far back, creating a water clone. Team 7 would then charge at Zabuza. Kakashi would use Kotsu, sorry, Kotsubai Kar Karin to create a wall of bones, which also accidentally destroyed Zabuza's water clone. Zabuza would then jump in the air trying to dodge it. While in the air, Naruto would use his Kots Kotsubai Karatana and slash at Zabuza, but luckily, Zabuza blocked it with his sword. But the sword would get a scratch on it. Naruto would then manipulate the sword with Zabuza in it in his hand. Zabuza would then sorry. 
he would then use to his uh, Kutsubai Katana to slam Zabuza onto the ground. While on the ground, Sakura would throw a barrage of kunai at Zabuza, but they would all miss on purpose. Zabuza would then realize that those are paper bombs, and Sasuke would use his fire style of fireball jutsu, which would activate the paper bombs. Zabuza would then jump in the air in the nick of time just to dodge the explosions. While in the air, Zabuza would get slammed back on the ground by Tazuna using Naruto's uh, special jutsu. You gave me this power, and you're still protecting me. The least I can do is help you out. Naruto smiles. Kakashi would then say, Naruto, pay attention. This is a technique I want to teach you. Sasuke would then weave hand signs. Tazuna uh, would then grab uh, Zabuza to keep him in place. As he would then yell, Move, Sakura and Sasuke. As a giant skull would emerge from the ground. As he would then say, Jinko Sugan Art, the skull of the ten tails. As his skull would open its mouth, charging a giant particle style beam. Zabuza would use all of his strength to break out of the skeleton's hand and jump just in the nick of time to not get blasted by the beam. Kakashi's Jinsugan, Jin, sorry, Jinko Sugan would disactivate. Damn it, I'm out of chakra. Kakashi would state. Zabuza would then go by a nearby tree, panting. You're, you should count yourself lucky. I'm out of chakra as well. See you later. As Zabuza would disappear. Everybody would be panting. As Naruto would look at Kakashi and ask what that technique was. Kakashi, Kakashi out of breath would answer. It's called the Skull of the Ten Tails. What is the Ten Tails? Sasuke asked. It was the original tailed beast before they got split into nine tailed beasts. Hearing this, Naruto would get excited. So like, when am I going to be able to do that? Kakashi would slightly laugh. I'll teach you guys chakra control. That would be a start for you, Naruto. As Tazuna would look down. My house is a few miles from here. You guys can sleep and eat there. It's the least I can do for helping me. Naruto would laugh and carry Kakashi piggyback style. Alright, we should probably get going, Naruto would state. As Sasuke, as Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi, and Sakura, and Tazuna would be walking, Sasuke would tell Naruto that they can take turns carrying Kakashi. Kakashi would laugh, telling Naruto to make sure he doesn't drop him. Naruto would then tell Kakashi that he's at his mercy. Hey, and he should drop him for making him go on so many D rank missions. They would all laugh as they eventually got to Tazuna's house. Team 7 would walk in the depressing land of waves. The smell of alcohol and smoke ran rapid. A little boy would run up and pull on Naruto's shirt. Can you give me any spare chains, sir? The boy said. His legs were shaking. Naruto took a good look. He had bruises all over. His shirt was torn, had even a scar on his chest. Naruto took out his wallet and gave the boy all of his money. Here, spend it on some clothes, okay? The boy shook his head and ran away. Sakura looked at this. Naruto, you can't just use your money irresponsibly. She began to yell at Naruto, lecturing him, but he would block, he would Sorry, but he would just look at Sakura. It's not your money. Piss off if you don't like it. Sakura got enraged at Naruto's comment. Tazuna would enter into the conversation. This is why I need to finish this bridge, since people will want to stay in poverty. Naruto looked at Tazuna. Why are they like this anyway? As Tazuna would explain, a man named Gato. He's the one that controls all the trade, which means he gets the final say on how much money anyone makes here. That's why if I build that bridge, trade will be a lot easier for multiple people, and they don't have to be like this. Naruto looked at the village in empathy. He continued on his walk with a determination to help the village. They eventually got to Tazuna's house. You guys 
can stay here as long as you like. As he just took another sip of his beer. Anything that you need, just tell me and my daughter. And we'll make sure to get it to you ASAP. As he went to go meet his daughter and grandson. They greeted him with a warm welcome and a hug. As Tazno would point to Team 7. Make sure these guys get whatever they want, okay? They're the ones that brought me home safe. As a little boy looked away from the three. As Tazna's daughter, Tsunami, would greet them all. Thank you for protecting my dad. Honestly, I don't know how he's going to pay you, but as Naruto would lift up a finger. Look, to be honest, he kind of scammed us. It was supposed to be a C rank, but it more likely is more of a B rank, if anything. But we're not going to charge him extra for it. As the little boy would look at him. Why? Because you guys think you're heroes or something? As Naruto just looked over the boy's comment. Anyway, he's really a nice guy, honestly. What he's doing is a great thing. As the boy would scoff. Naruto started to get a little bit annoyed, but he can look over it. After all, being with Sasuke and Sakura made him a bit more mature and in control of his emotions. They would get settled in. They were only planning on staying one night, so they weren't really, you know, overpacking or anything. Kakashi told T7 to meet him outside, which they did in, pro in ASAP, sorry. I was gonna teach you, I'm going to teach you how to use your chakra to walk on walls. As he looked at Naruto, and you, I'll teach you how to do that summoning technique the second you learn how to do this technique first. In order to walk on walls, you should focus your chakra on your feet then extend it forwards towards the tree. Kakashi demonstrated what he was talking about. The trio looked at the tree, then Kakashi, then back at the tree. Easy peasy, Naruto shouted in excitement. He recalled to himself what Kakashi said. He began to walk up the tree about 10 steps before falling. Damn it, I got too comfortable, Naruto told himself. Sasuke looked looking at Naruto thought to himself if Naruto can do it then I can do it 10 times better as Sasuke repeated the steps and was able to get up 11 before he flipped, slipping and falling meanwhile Sakura already had it done and was able to get there sooner that entire night only taking stops with pee breaks and dinner Naruto and Sasuke would use each other as stepping stones to surpass each other then eventually completing the exercise around 3 a.m. The next day, Team 7 decided that Naruto deserved to sleep in. After all, he was the main person that was protecting Tazuna and that obviously took up some chakra. Naruto would wake up to a yelling tsunami. Tazuna's daughter. Naruto looked outside the window. It's that little boy that's annoying. He's trying to protect his mom from some goons. Naruto would. Naruto would leave a hand sign when activating his Jinsegon. They should do it. As Naruto used the Jinsegon to impale two of them, both of the goons, with spiky bones. He would then jump out the window and ask the young boy if him and his mom was going to be okay. The young boy nodded yes as Naruto checked her pulse. Oh. Where'd they go? As the boy would point. They went to the bridge for Gramps' building. As Naruto would then punch his fist together. Looks like I got a fight on my hands. Naruto ran towards the direction Inari pointed. Naruto got to the bridge. Sasuke was stuck in a sphere of some sort of mirror and Kakashi was fighting that Zabuza guy. Sakura was protecting Tazuna so Naruto remembered he forgot to lock in Tazuna's protection thing again. S Naruto studied Sasuke's situation then summoned a bunch of spiky bones that was aimed for every single mirror and hit every single mirror but positioned in a way that Sasuke would not get hit. That loser finally showed up, Sasuke yelled in excitement. 
To be honest, he was kind of hoping Naruto got in the last second, as he thought he was ready. He was thought he was going to die. That doesn't sound like a thank you, Naruto reply, replied playfully. Haku got back up and summoned bigger and better versions of the ice mirror trap. Damn, how does the break him again? As Naruto was cut off when Haku threw Senbons to paralyze him. Damn it! Sasuke, use my bones as cover. Naruto said. Sasuke saw more Senbon aim towards him. With his dual Tomoe starting on, he ran in front of Naruto. Blood ran down Sasuke's body and on Naruto. No! Sasuke, why? Naruto caught Sasuke's falling body. Loser, please kill that bastard for me. Sasuke fell unconscious, but to Naruto, it looked like he died. Rage filled Naruto's entire body, his essence, which caused Naruto's jin Jinkotsugan to evolve. Instead of the color changing to a bl bright white, it changed to a bright blue, and the Celera aka like the white part of your eyes just in case you don't know what that is basically changed from white to black and his chakra surged the skulls came from the ground i'm gonna kill you naruto yelled directly at haku which gave him shivers on the back of his spine haku blinked and one of the skulls disappeared it was that fast it was behind him Haku noticed it and dodged before the beam of chakra could hit him. All Haku could do was dodge since the beams took a few seconds to charge. Naruto began combining all of his techniques. He would manipulate bones from the ground to make Haku jump in the air, which then led to Naruto using the skulls to try and blast Haku. Haku would be forced to jump to avoid spikes, but he would try to dodge in the air to avoid the beams of chakra. Haku would try and run closer to Naruto, but Naruto would use his Kutsabai Katana to slash at Haku, forcing him to stay in place. The Scroot 3 skulls charged. Beams of chakras at the, at the ready. Naruto stared at Haku, but stopped his attack when he heard Sasuke coughing. He would look back. Sasuke? Naruto looked at the body to confirm. A few feet away from Naruto's assault on Haku, the sound of birds chirping could be heard. Zabuza was impaled by Kakashi's Chidori. Haku would see the bloody hand of Kakashi leaving Zabuza's lifeless body. Haku spoke to Naruto, realizing that his meaning in life is now gone. Naruto, oh sorry, Naruto was checking to see if Sasuke was okay. After confirming that Sasuke was breathing, he calmed down. Naruto, was it? I have a request. Naruto turned towards Haku. If you want me to spare you, just go. You're lucky you didn't kill Sasuke. Haku shook his head. No, I need you to do quite the opposite. I want you to kill me. Naruto looked at Haku in shock. Zabuza is dead. I have no meaning in life anymore. Therefore, the only option is to die. As Naruto heard this, a man with a very raspy voice spoke. Zabuza's dead body. What a disappointment. Everybody looked at the short, chubby man. Naruto saw the rage in Haku's eyes when they said that. Naruto turned off his Jinsugan. Jin Kotsugan, sorry. You can kill him now. 30 minutes later, the water underneath the bridge ran red. Haku stood tall over the bloodbath of Gata's men. Gato's body was mangled to the point of unrecognized to the point where it isn't even unrecognizable. God damn it, I can't read. <laughs> Naruto would look at the bloodbath. You killed
couldn't even tell body parts apart at this point. And Haku's rage finally calmed down. Not looked at Haku. Do me a favor. If you want a meaning in life, protect the village for me. I'm not going to be here forever. Haku looked at Naruto. Wait, what? Naruto explained. You're a skilled ninja, and you just said you had no meaning in life, right? Protect the village with you of your life, then. And I'm pretty sure they'll be welcoming in open arms. Naruto looked at the bridge builder for confirmation. Tazuna replied, Oh yes, although you did try to stall my progress, but I'm pretty sure if you help the people with their needs and as a ninja protect them, I'm pretty sure we can get you a place to stay. Haku looked down, pondering, but of, but, <clears throat> but he thought of one thing. If he devoted his life to protect the place where Zabuza took his final battle, he could probably protect his memory too. This village will be protected by me in my first act as a new um, as a new village protector is to help you finish this bridge. Haku looked at Tazuna. He was surprised. Naruto was surprised too since he didn't really think it was going to work. Finally, trade in the, in the land of waves shall change. After three days of Naruto and Haku helping finish the bridge, the name was then decided. The reason why Kakashi, Sakura, and Sasuke weren't able to uh, join was mainly Sakura was trying to help Kakashi and Sasuke rest. After the third days of them resting, the bridge is finally done. We shall call it the Great Naruhaku Bridge, Tazuna yelled in excitement as all the villagers cheered. Naruto was getting carried piggyback styled after they left the celebrations. Naruto was fast asleep. Sasuke was half asleep and so was Sakura. As Sakashi whispered in Naruto's ear, you're one step closer to becoming the ninja that will always be remembered, Naruto. Kakashi said, as Team 7 was then welcomed back into Konoha. Kakashi would leave Naruto out at his house, which he slept like a rock, even harder as a rock since his bed was not Kakashi's back anymore, but a comfortable soft bed, soft mattress with a few blankets. Naruto woke up, and he went out to the kitchen with a bowl of ramen, hot and steaming, prepared for him, which there was a note on the bowl. Thank you for saving me, loser. If there was a dash with Sasuke's name, Naruto smiled. Well, let's just hope he got my favorite bowl right. As he tasted it, and he was so excited. Thank God, he would whisper to himself. As that is the end of what if Naruto was <laughs> had a Sans Dojutsu part three. If this video isn't long, because the way I write these is I do sub chapters as a whole chapter, so I don't really calculate the entire thing. Um, like I said, thank you for being so patient with me. And uh, I know we got some new people, uh, eight to be exact. Hey, I'm Tyro. This isn't a common thing. It's just I wanted to take a little break after my uh, previous video. And uh, yeah, I just um, enjoy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy because the next part is the beginning of the tuning exams i hope you guys enjoyed this part i'm probably going to do what if naruto's adopted by jiraiya part two after this maybe unless uh unless i get some uh some, um, suggestions 
but uh because <laughs> i already am trying to do what if naruto uh, made his own village so i uh, i might even do a discussion i don't know i right, hope you guys enjoyed and uh goodbye